Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make the Blue Hawaiian. But first I have to change my shirt, so... All right, so let's get into some history about the Blue Hawaiian. And there's not much there, and it is a bit of a mystery on who created it. Simon Differ thinks it may have been Don the Beachcomber. It may also have been some bartender who was getting a little creative with a pina colada. But it may also have been the Lucas Bowles Distillery, which was founded in 1575 in Amsterdam. And they argue to this day that they are the creator of Blue Carousel, and thus have a vested interest in creating more cocktails that use their liqueur. I don't know who came up with it. I really don't care. Let's be honest. Doesn't really matter. But I'm going to make one right now, and we're going to see if it's as good as they say. So the first thing that I need is my shaking glass. The next thing, of course, I need is some rum. And we're going to use a light rum. We're using a Lamb's White Rum, and we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right, so the next thing that I actually need is some pineapple juice. And where the hell's my pineapple? Juice. Pineapple juice. So we need two ounces of pineapple juice. Looking good already. I'll put that right there. Now I also need to add in one ounce or 30 mils of the blue carousel. Now a blue carousel, just so you know, is a, uh, or if you didn't know anyways, is an orange look here with blue coloring to it. So we need of course one ounce or 30 mils. Oh, look at that color. Automatically going blue, beautiful. The next thing that I need is of course cream of coconut. So what I've done here is I've got some cream of coconut and some people will use coconut milk, but that is a little bit thinner in consistency. This way I get a consistent creamy uh, outlay. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna add some ice and what we're going to do is we are going to shake for about 20 seconds. Absolutely gorgeous, looks good, it smells good. Now I need a glass. What are we gonna serve this up in today? We could serve this up in a hurricane glass, but you know what? I think I wanna put it straight up in a Collins glass. Now one of the interesting things about a Collins glass and doing it this way, a lot of people will use this and they will blend this, but you're gonna get more dilation, dilation, dilution, if you blend it, this will give us a chance to have more of the flavors of the orange liqueur and the rum, and it'll taste a little bit better, in my own opinion. So, now the next thing we need, of course, is we're gonna pour this in using our Hawthorne strainer. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous blue drink. Now all we need is a garnish. However, I need my pineapple back. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the top off. Ooh, it's so tempting to just see if that, this would be a perfect garnish if it, <laughs> well, okay, it's a little bit too much, right? So we're gonna use a pineapple wedge and we're gonna do a nice big one and this looks really really good right here but you know what we're gonna do this properly we're gonna have a maraschino cherry 
And I think it's time that we get this beautiful, beautiful cherry out and we make this work. So we're gonna give this a bit of a cut, a bit of a slice so it can sit right here, just in front. Look at that. But we're not quite finished because you know what? I've got some, uh, a bit of a pineapple leaf right here. And I'll put this right there as well. <laughs> oh, David, you can't garnish anything properly. Look at that. Look at this. Can't garnish anything right. And my lone cherry has, has fallen apart. Take a look at this. This is a blue Hawaiian. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a bit of a straw and get this right down in there and see what it tastes like. Oh, that's very good. Very good, it's nice and sweet. A little sweeter than some cocktails, so if you don't like sweet cocktails, this may not be you. But it's not bitter, it's nice and creamy. It has a very nice mouthfeel. It smells good, it tastes good. It looks good as well. You just can't go wrong. This is the Blue Hawaiian. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this in the description down below. If this is your first time to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we make a new video, you get notified. But if you don't like pineapples and you didn't find them entertaining, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. Simon Difford thinks that it may have been Don the Beach. Don the Beach Comer. This again, shall we? The Blue Hawaiian History Take 8. Creating more cocktails that use their liquor. Now, I don't know who came up with the Blue Carousel. So let's get into making the Blue Hawaiian. So the first thing, of course, I need is my mixing glass. I can use this as a fuck. 